What is going on, you lovely people? I'm fucking nervous. That's what's going on in my life. Hashtag nervous! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. But, as you guys can see, this team is completely different. I know that last episode I did not have come out oh, in the thing, my doodle. It's fine. It's whatever. Because it's here now. So, like I had promised, I was going to have my dad pick the order of which we did the Elite Four. Pulling up his messenger, because I figure instead of, like, actually, like, putting it on the screen, we'll add some suspense. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go to over a team recap, because this is the Elite Four team. It is what it is at this point. We have a lot of uh, full restores, so we should be okay. No, we're probably not going to be. But we have what with Psychic, Lava Plume, Cosmic Power, and Drake of Meteor. Yay with the, oh, also, uh, FX4 Wise Glasses. Yay with a plus speed minus but depth nature. Heat Wave, Venom Shock, Sparkling Aria, Precipice Blades, Tinted Lens Expert Belt. Tinted Lens means if something's not very effective, I do 30% more damage. Expert Belt means that if it's super effective, I do 20% more damage. So, uh, Damage Machine. Then we have Kua Varius with Baneful Bunker, Dazzling Gleam, Judgment, Oblivion Wing, no steel moves at all, because of course freaking Kua Varius, why not? Um, Inner's Out, and Big Root. So, that's something. Then, we have Reggie, the combo up with Cosmic Power, Spirit Shackle, Sacred Sword, and Dragon Pulse, with Dark Aura, meaning Dark Attacks are 30% more effective, which is not good because we don't have a Dark Attack, um, and lacks Incense, which means that every move is 90% less effective than it was before, or less accurate than it was before. So 90% accurate move is, or 81% uh, accurate, 100% accurate, 90% accurate, 80% accurate, 72% accurate. So, yeah, that'll help, I think. Then we have Demonetization Doggo with Earth Power, Skull, Dazzling Gleam, Aqua Ring, Leftovers. So, y'all, we have Leftovers Aqua Ring on the same team with a defensive Doggo. So, you're, it's, this is our tanky mon. We have to have a tanky mon. It's me. If I don't have a tanky mon, then what the frick is going on? Um... Then we have Torrent with the Scope Lens, Leaf Blade, because it already increases critical hit ratio. So we're plus two for the critical hit ratio situation, which means critical hits are going to occur in a 1 in 4 chance instead of 1 in 16. Trough Kick, Magnitude, and Throat Chop. That is our current situation, and I am extremely nervous for what is to come. But anything can happen. And let's get into this. I want to play it safe. Playing it safe is what we want to do to the begin this. So I'm going to lead Demonetization Doggo. And hope that Demonetization Doggo is going to do something. I love the fact that it's just named Demonetization Doggo. Like, the amount of times I'm going to say Demonetization in this episode, YouTube, just don't demonetize it. Because <laughs> I feel like that's a very plausible. Because YouTube's going to be like, Demonetization, Demonetization, Demonetization. You said that so many times. It should be demonetized. No. The Mon's name is Demonetization Doggo because it gets demonetized if I say the actual Mon's name. Um, which is actually kind of hilarious because the irony in that is great. Gwen, you've come a long way and you've made it through a bunch of trials and grand trials. Congratulations. I would ask, aren't you cold because of uh, them pecs though? But with that muscle mass, I'm sure you're not cold at all. I Because doesn't muscle like take more to... Uh, get cold because it's warmer naturally i might be wrong it might be the opposite because lean muscle mass versus uh other mass well actually no that's why that's why uh animals in antarctica develop blubber and stuff so never mind yeah aren't you cold is a valid response oh kukui 
Also, sorry for completely peeking my mic because I'm freaking frick back and in scared, but whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. We have a total of like a hundred and something full restores. I want to say. Because we just used all our money for that because we're crazy. Medicine cabinet. Yeah, 127. 127 full restores. We have an ether and a max and two max elixirs, which is gonna be great for us. But yeah, let's get into this. So I asked my dad from left to right what we should do. Left to right being in the Elite Four order of what Hala, Olivia, Acerola. Oh, you can't even see that. It's go it goes Hala. Oh, you can't see that's backwards. Hala. Olivia. Acerola and Kahili. So that is what I told him. I sent him a thing saying this. I'll just read it off here. I was like, Dad, I need your help. I stated that I'm going to have you pick the order of the Elite Four, which is basically the final boss of the game. If you want to give reasons, that's great. Um, and that's fine, too. If you want to just order them from one to four, left to right, that's okay as well. So here is his first one. First, you need to get rid of the guy. The dude's going. It's like, okay. That, that sounds great. Um, so we're taking on Hala first. So I was like, okay, that's the first person that we're going to take on. And it's just literally just because it's the guy. <laughs> so we're eliminating the guy first. So let's figure this out. Because then we have left three females on the table. And we'll figure out what's going on from that. So I kind of anticipated that. That was what I was anticipating was that he was going to go first anyways. Because he's the first guy on the left. Makes it easy. So let's figure this out, though. Fighting Hala. Like I said, I, I, this is, I anticipated that. There's, I did not anticipate other things that comes half after this, but. <sighs> oh, gosh. Hala. Look, I have Scald. I've seen Scald burns against you, and it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I, I like this music. Let me turn it on. Oh, uh, Galisopod! Great! I let off with a terrible lead. Woo! Love terrible leads. They're my favorite. Oh, gosh. Dang it. So, their ace is going to be 58. And the ace of the champion is 61. So, that's why I'm 58. Because I want to get into the 60s um, by the time I finish this. So, I don't have a lucky egg equipped on anybody which will make that harder on purpose. Um, that's a terrible start for me, though. Like, let me play it safe. And then it's like, oh, you want to play it safe? <laughs> Gosh dang it. It's the Elite Four. We got to take some risks. And I knew that, but still, I was like, I don't want to take the risks. Risks are bad. It's like, no, you have to. You've got to. Uh, it's hilarious. Quivarius is going to help out a lot, I think, in this fight. Quivarius' self-heal ability is going to be big. Oh, boy. Okay. Crab Hammer, of course, because it's, like, the most powerful freaking water move. Um, Got to go for the Oblivion Wing. Cause, oh, we are faster. Okay, I did not anticipate us being faster. Oh, that was a mineral. Oh, gosh. Okay. What a great mineral. That This is already starting out super scary, as I predicted. I literally told Charizard, I'm super scared for this leaf horn. For a good reason. <laughs> they like to be annoying. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. That was the first bond, guys. A Darman Darmanitan? Are you kidding me? You're kidding, right? Darmanitan? Okay. At least I can go to Demonetization Doggo. 
I can't get Skull of Burns, though. I swear, if this is the ace, though. This this could be the ace. They send out the ace in a, um, a non-order order, so they don't have an ordering scale. Sing. Oh, great. Demonetization Doggo, don't go to sleep. Just just don't. That's all I need is you not to fall asleep, and we're okay. Oh, great. You popped a swap into Sceptile. Is it a Mega? It is Mega Sceptile. Burn? 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 Nope. Ah. Uh, uh. I've got to go into Quivarius. But I resist both stabs. Oh, don't be contrary. Do not, for the love of goodness, be contrary. Thank gosh. Okay. I was about to say, if we actually are fighting a contrary septile immediately, that's resistance. We're okay. Again, we resisted both stabs. That's an Oko, right? Or, well, not really an Oko because it's not a full health, but it would be an Oko if it was. Yeah, Quivarius' Oblivion Wing is going to be used a lot. Darmanitan's coming back. Darmanitan's extremely fast. I'm going to go into what? Because what is also the extremely fast? And I think the fastest member on the team at 176. Oh my gosh. If 176 is our fastest member, we could be in trouble. Oh my god, it's our fastest by far. Okay. I still think that it'll be faster than Darmanitan at 176, but... Oh, boy. Darmanitan's also a pretty fast boy. I think it's like 80 or 90 base power, so we'll see. Ah, floor store. 80 or 90. I think it's like 90-something speed. I don't know if this will be an Oko, but... Oh, it does. Okay. Okay, we got a perfect opportunity to get what in, but we're gonna have a... Yep. I called it! But we're gonna have a dark type pop out. Yup. Figured that... I was like, there's no way that Hala does not have a dark type because of course he would. Our team is very type diverse, which I appreciate. Reggie, please. Yeah, I do appreciate this type diversity because that's gonna help me with like switching in, figuring out ways to get around things. Uh, dark aura is actually really bad for Reggie though. Because, oh, I mean, um, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I guess I can't use Cosmic Power, which is a good move for Reggie, but that doesn't matter. Bye, Mighty Anna. Have a great day. Um, Heavy Rain is gone. <laughs> Just bye, my Diana. Escavalier. That's a yay. That's a yay situation. I don't want it to have first impression. Because, yes, I have Lava Plume and a Fire Move on our lovely Mega Mewtwo. But, yay can handle this a lot better. Heat Wave. Also, you're level 57, so you're the secondary ace. Because the ace is 58, secondary ace is 57. Which means he did save his ace for the last spot. So, oh, you missed. Yay, you can't be doing that. Girl, you cannot be doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yay. Yay. Yay, you cannot. Ah. Yay. You Missing is like the worst thing you could possibly do. You wasted four heat waves when you only needed one to kill this thing. Gosh dang it, yay. <sighs> Why? That wasted so much. Mewtwo Ace! What the frickity frackadoodle? Oh, sweet goodness gracious. That's, that's terrible. That's terrifying. Ah, I want to send it to Ron. I, that's. But, I, oh, I have Spirit Shackle on to Ron. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> Um, here's the thing. If it's an, if it is a Mega Mewtwo Y, Quivarius is the play. If it's a Mega Mewtwo X, then Toronto is the play. It's literally the guess and check formula. And you gotta hope to God you get the right one. I'm thinking it's gonna be an X though. If it's regular Mewtwo, it didn't matter. 
It is, okay, so it didn't matter. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Throat chop the frick out of you. Wonder Room. <laughs> oh, um, excuse me. Defense and special defense swapped, which is okay. Not really, because you're freaking tank -a doodle. But. Lester Purge. That should be okay. That's not okay. He heals, right? No, he just throws it away. Also, his ace was 57, not 50. 57.95 apparently rounds to 57. Okay, whatever, fine. It doesn't affect anything, though. It's okay. Okay. Then, the next one that Dad wanted me to take out. Then, the kid, number three. Because Acerola honestly does look like a kid in that photo that I gave him. But, yes, we're taking on old girl Acerola. And if you look at them comparatively, though, Acerola does look like a kid. Like, you, like I thought Acerola was a kid, too. So. Okay, well, leading to monetization doggo was, like, the worst decision I could possibly do. So, Quivarius. Get out here. Be my lead. Because apparently, I can't lead the monetization doggo. Even though he's got the most HP, but whatever. So number three. Come on, Acerola, be nice. Ah, Acerola. I'm doing this with the um, the team on the layout, so please, I just, I, I wanted to take a risk, and hopefully you guys didn't have to, like, worry about things dying and stuff. I like Quivarius. Yes! Oh my god, that was a play. Okay. Quavarius is gonna dazzling gleam. Core enforcer, that's fine. That's resisted. That is okay. That is okay. Da okay. 30 points of damage. Does not matter to me at all. Wow. Oh, focus sash. Focus sash. Leftovers. Okay. I guess you're just gonna have lefties. Honestly, I'm gonna use judgment because I haven't been using. Oh, crap. That doesn't matter necessarily, though, because that, that should do with the chip damage I need. So, honestly, using that over Dazzling Gleam was a better idea. The fact that she has a lefty's Guzzlord, though, is actually busted. Because Guzzlord's HP is gosh dang crazy. Oh, crap. You just went straight into this, and that's great, because... Because, of course, we have to make the good plays, you know? That's such a tough thing to switch into. I'm going to go for Demonetization Doggo and hope for the best. Because that is not an easy thing to switch into. A non-defeatist Fusion Flare. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. That's perfectly fine. I'm not faster. Aeroblast, that's okay too. That's You're not a special attacker, so. I badly want to set up Aqua Ring. Oh, Moxie, I forgot we had that, okay. I absolutely forgot we have that. Blue Flare on Quiver, yes, by judgment. I know that Blue Flare's 85% accurate, but having a freaking gosh darn good tier fire move is 
totally fine by me. Plus it kind of pseudo... Oh, well that's perfect. <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfect. Bug and Steel though, actually. Yay's probably... I'm actually going to use Yay. Yay's the choice. Because it's Bug and Steel. A Steel move is going to hurt Yay a little bit. But Yay needs to kind of prove herself a little bit here. By hitting a Heat Wave. Thank you. That kills that. Drop -a. Quavarius? I feel like Quavarius has to be the answer to this. Intimidate. That's fine. We don't have any special moves. Or physical moves. Yeah. Oh. We're doing this. Okay. I mean, that's okay. Not preferred, but if you're going to want to whirlwind loop me, then I don't mind. Prismatic laser! Oh, okay. You just hit me with a 160 base power move for no reason. Fine. Um, is that the one that needs recover or recharge? I think it is. And then she doesn't need to heal, and I'm, or yeah, she's gonna withdraw. Okay, into Guzzlord. Honestly, I should have predicted that. I almost went to go various. I almost went to go various to predict that. But then I was like, you know what? AI's not gonna make smart plays. John, you have it on smart AI, you dumbass. Like, yes, they're gonna make the smart plays. You designed them to do that. Wow! Oh my goodness. It's almost like that's what's making this challenging ish. <laughs> Core Enforcer. That's okay. Here's the thing she has two mods on low HP. So even though it says. We have four mods to defeat. Do we really? No, we really have two that we haven't seen. It's crazy Guzzlord's faster, though. I don't like that. We're going to see another Pokemon, right? We're not going to see... Yeah, we are. Okay. Ooh boy. Okay, Electros. That's gotta be a yay problem, right? Yeah, that has to be a yay problem. Yay is already running out of heat waves, which is like, gosh dang it, yay. But... Hmm. Yay is catching a lot of undeserved flying, flying type. No. She sacked off her trampa. Okay, that's fine. That's all. Oh, that was a smart play. Sacking up the drop up for the Intimidate to make sure that the Electros will live a press to his blades. Gosh, dang it. Why are we making good plays? Uh, okay, so that was a sack of a Drampa. Are we going to see the Electros or are we going to see the other Mon? Who's trying to learn Flying Press? Reggie. No, you literally already tried to learn it once. And I said, why are you learning it again? No. Dust Ox. Okay, we are seeing the other Mon. Gosh, I want to stay in a Heat Wave. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Me. I want to slay it in a heat wave. It's a shiny dust ox, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, if I want to do it, do it. It's fine. Yay, we'll hit it. And not murder the dust ox, but get the burn off on the dust ox after an attack order that's going to do like 20 damage, maybe. <laughs> eight. How about eight damage instead of 20? Um, Then I'll use a, like, a sparkling aria or something. Perfect. That's dead. Electro. I'm staying in. I still. I feel confident staying in right here. Uh, 
Ion Deluge. Oh, that's gonna turn this into an electric attack. Why? Or is that only normal type moves? Oh, that's only normal type moves. Okay. <clears throat> Ion Deluge being your like best move though is unfortunate because that means you literally switch out you couldn't hit Yay. So Yay was just the uh, OP powerhouse of this fight. So sorry, Yay. Or sorry, uh, Ace Arola, not Yay. Yay would be happy about that. Sorry, Ace Arola. You just got Ace Arola. Ah, uh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was really bad. I'm sorry, Ace Arola. You didn't deserve that. Okie dokie, Artichokey. We have not used a four story yet, which is like, that's, I think, the crazy part about this so far. No full restores have been utilized. I mean, I would love to get through an E4 without needing that, but obviously we're going to run out of Hyper Potions, so. Okay, so the next one that Dad said to take out is number four because she looked like she'd be a crybaby. Is legit what he said. So, we're taking on number four. Hi, Kahili. The only flying type Elite Four member, by the way. Do I want to continue my lead with Co Yeah, I do. Do I want to continue my lead with Covert? Yes. John, you do. Don't even question it. You have a thing going for you. Just go with it. I haven't had to use very many Oblivion Wings either. So when we get to the champion fight, think about what we need to heal. Skarmory! I just learned Blue Flare. Cool. Steel Flying Face Off. One has a fire move. Wrong, wrong stat. Wrong stat. Oh, I missed. Doom Desire. Okay. Crap. Doom Desire is what screwed me over last time. Electrode. Ugh. Doom Desire is still existent. Um. I'm gonna hope to mitigate whatever damage it can do and use EA. But this is very risky. If I don't Oko. Like, I, I, this is what, yay, this is where I need you to hit. That way I can kind of prepare. Oh, you're going into Jinx. That's fine. I used a physical move. Please hit Yay. That's still an Oko if you do. Yes! That crit didn't matter. That was still an Oko. Yes! Okay. That was an easy clap. Oh, what's a Salamence? Oh, that's not as easy of a clap. Hmm. Don't have any ice moves, which is rough this situation huh what is going to tank the best personally I think the monetization doggo will tank the best that's what the monetization doggo is meant for is this this kind of style of tanking we have something that's super effective against elements now that would not Oko so I'm not gonna even go for it. I'm gonna try for the, as much recovery as possible. Get an aqua ring off. Oh no! Oh. Well, the monetization dog goes dead. Cause that. Oh, it is typed damage. Oh my gosh! If that was not typed damage, I was done for. I still have to swap, but, oh boy, okay. Of course you have like Seed Flare, cause that's the, literally like the move that messes things up. I'm going into Quiveries. I did not know it was not, I thought it was non-typed. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I learned something new today. Um, I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. Parting Shot. Ooh. I hate this Salamence. 
gosh dang it. It's almost like we knew that was exactly what was going to happen. Um. Crap. You can play a loop de loo I love the loop de loo game, guys. It's my favorite. Did you guys not know that? The loop de loo game is so fun. Crap. Well, the way to avoid the loopy loo game is to go into Reggie. Because that way... God, I hate the loopy loo game. Because that way... Oh, that lowers special attack. Okay. That's okay, though. I'm more physically... Because that... Oh, crap! The thing that, I, that avoids the loopy loo game is special, though! Ah! Kahili, why are you actually being annoying? Oh, I'm in the spirit shackle. Gosh dang it. Well, now you cannot play the loopy loop game with me. Because I guess I forgot about spirit shackles. Spirit shackles thing. Okay. Now the elements will come back out. And we go back to Quivarius. Dazzling Gleam again. Oh, gosh dang it. Who do you have to loop you with me now? Gengar. Oh, that's not even a big... Oh, it's a Mega Gengar. Oh, it's got slow starts, whatever. That was like the most roller coaster situation. It's like, oh, it's a, oh, 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 it's whatever. <laughs> Everything's okay. It My special attack down by one, though, is rough. Very rough. Mimic. Oh, you're going to be able to Oblivion Wing now. Great. Um. That's such a good situation for me. Um, I guess I go into Yay. Yay is coming through hardcore right now, and I love it. Yeah, we figured that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit like a truck. Dump truck McGee over here, freaking copying my Oblivion ring, a wing. Because remember what I said. I'm my worst enemy. Oh my gosh. Yay. Stop missing, girl. Oh my god. Yay. Oh. You cannot miss. You have, you're have you coming through in so many ways, and then you're like, I'm going to miss now. And you're just like, yay. Gosh dang it, girl. You cannot afford to miss. That's my first full restore, by the way. Missing is absolutely detrimental to our team. Good to know that I'm somehow faster. But, oh, yay. You cannot be missing these hits. Oh, okay. Salamence coming back out. Honestly, I have a feeling you're going to just parting shot again. I'm going to go into Quivarius. But I do have a feeling you're going to party shot again. So I'm in a Oblivion Wing because that's my best move. Oh, nope. You're done parting shotting. Okay, so you don't have anything that really hinders anything anymore. You're locked into Outrage. I'll, I'll, I'll kill you in this manifest, because why not? It's kind of funny to kill you this way. Poison, confusion, poison will kill.
Dialga is the final mon. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. I hate having to use Yay in these circumstances. Ah, uh, Yay is like this. This is like, I hate, like, I love Yay, right? Yay is amazing, and I love her a lot. But I'm like, girl, I hope that. I gotta, I gotta scout. I gotta scout, guys. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. I can't not scout this situation. Meteor Mash. Ah, it does about the same amount of damage. Okay, I'm gonna Precipice Blades, though. That's super. Yay! Stop missing! Ah! Yay! You are our literal light in this situation, and you've missed again! I don't want to send in freaking demonetization doggo and turn this into a stall fest. Yay. You have to hit. It does not Oko. This is a two hit KO. But you have to. See. I want to risk the sparkling Aria, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. God, I didn't do it, but gosh dang it, yay. You're gonna have to hit again, girl. Okay. I'm going for the 90% accurate. It's more accurate. Oh God, you forced it again. I need to hit, yay. You cannot afford the M-I-S-S. Come on! Yay! Okay. Whew! That was that was rough. That was a rough one. That was too rough for your own my own good. And the last but not least, they wanted me to or dad wanted me to attack the naughty one. That's what he literally said. Is it was the naughty one. So obviously that means that's Olivia. And the fact that I might have to come back and do the champion fight after work is like a gosh dang it moment. <sighs> Yay's yeah, out here missing too many moves. I'm gonna use an ether. Ah, I might have to do it on Dazzling Gleam though. No, I gotta do it with Ye's Precipice Blades. Yeah, the ground type attack's been doing too much wonders for me not to do that. It's 2.30, right? Not two. I swear, if it says two, I'm gonna be mad. No, two thirty. Oh, I'm upstairs. Oh no, I'm not. Bruh, no way. I'm working. I'm not at the registers today. I'm the Valentine's Day jewelry person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. Oh, don't worry. I'm upstairs. No, apparently I'm not. I'm crazy as Okay. After that stunning discovery. Okay. I don't know what I want to do at all. Like, at all, at all. Okay. Olivia. <laughs> She's like, ah, don't need an introduction. Everybody calls me the sexy naughty one, and it's like, okay. Gosh, diggity darn it! Okay. Come on, I just need this fight to just sail. This is the toughest one, usually. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's okay, that's okay, that's a good start, that's a good start, that's a good start.
Now, you're not a special attacker, so I'm not that worried, actually. You might tank this, though. Okay, now you can't eruption again, and we're back to full. I mean, if you do, then I just heal up to full again, but... A uh, high jump kick. I love that high jump kick did more than a super effective 150 base power move, because that's how little throw has in that regard. Jeez, that heal! That amount of healing, though. Okay. Samurott. That goes... To, that's Tarant's problem, actually. That, that's, that should be... That's easy Tarant problem to handle. Tarant... I'm going to have you Leaf Blade because you have a 1 in 4 chance to crit this. Oh, you did crit it. Okay. Wow. With Drew Samurott, so whatever's coming in is attack is getting lowered. An airlock Moltres. Demonetization doggo. I like how we really barely use Mega Me 2Y though. That's funny. I mean it is still extremely strong in a weapon to be feared, but I just love that I've built this rounded team. That I can kind of just be like, okay, this that, that you everybody has their designations. Okay, that's gonna proc a heal. Or a door, which is actually perfect opportunity for me to aqua ring up. Nice. I'm healing so much per turn. Imagine if we had a physical move to take advantage of Moxie. We were at 204 before. What are we at now? 189. So that did, like, nothing. Huntail. I'm going to stay in. It's a Huntail. Uh, apparently staying in is a terrible idea, and I should just go into freaking Toronto. <laughs> I thought Huntail was not going to take that little damage. Boom Burst, though. Yeah, this is Tehran's problem, I guess. It's going to go for the Boom Burst again, I would hope. Yeah, does not affect Tehran, though. Psy Wave. Well, that's fine, because it's Psy Dead. Halfway through a fight? Mantine. Oh, I don't have electric. Or rock. I think this is... Oh, wait. Doesn't it have... No, this is still prime what opportunity. Download. Attack Rose. That's good. That's fine. Should do about half, I would hope. Oh, a little bit more than half. I'm so glad that, that we have an easy 2 at KO route for this. What do we got next? Buzzwool. Oh. Oh, but it's... Kind of that same first impression scenario, so I'm going to go Quivarius. Not Reggie. Give me Quivarius. Thank you. I was like, Quivarius. Like, yeah. Okay. And that is going to be an Oblivion Wing kill. Oh, well, maybe not after Defend Order. I mean, I would hope, because it's quite effective. Stab. 
Yeah, okay. I was like, I would hope so, but... Oh, we crit, so it didn't even matter. Samurott's coming back. That's the thing we wanted to take out with Tarant. Because it's almost, it's almost dead, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's oh, way more than almost dead. Nice. <laughs> Got a crit again. Origin Pulse. Miss. And Tarot claims the W. And now we're heading on to the final battle. Okay, well, let's utilize everything that we got. Because we got 12 minutes to get that, this battle in, and honestly, that is a reasonable amount of time to do that. Okay, max elixirs are for everything. Quavarius gets used quite often. And then let's make sure that Ye is up to snuff. Or, no, Ye is pretty up to snuff already. I'm going to give this last one to demonetization. I might have messed up on that, <coughs> that call, but we'll see. The ruling on the field is confirmed. We're headed to the champion, boys. And girls, ladies and gentlemen. And all others. So again, if everything lives and it stays alive, which I highly doubt, but it might happen, then you guys get to pick three mods that get to die. So which ones are you guys going to pick? Got to think about that because this is the final battle that you get, they get to be showcased in, so. Oh, okay. Remember that I highly doubt that? Yeah, I was not wrong. Woo! Starting off with the bang, Zekrom, which honestly I'm going to go into yay for. At least I wasn't kidding about the game wanting to be annoying. Okay. We know it has tinted lenses as well, so. Oh, Flame Orb. Well, that's fine. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for uh, making that less stressful, because that's going to do half damage. Yeah, that would have done so much. Under any uh, other under any other circumstance, that would have been so much. But he decided to be dumb and have a flame orb. So if he wants to be dumb and have a flame orb, I I mean I'm not gonna say no to him being dumb and having a flame orb. But it's not what I anticipate for this entire fight to be. So Pukamuku level 60. Okay, this is just a, a leaf blade situation. Blizzard. From a Pukumuku, it should be fine. Yeah. Like, from this Pokemon, anything anything is okay. It's just meant to be a wall. A dumb wall. But we have the breaker for it, so it's fine. Victini. It's another thing I want to send Ye into, but it's also part Psychic, actually. No. We can Scald it and be fine. It'll take two or three Scalds, but... So it's not going to be easy to kill this thing. It's guaranteed, it's guaranteed taking two, oh, never mind, you know what, she's, it's just gonna make it so that water's literally almost double power, <laughs> so it's, now it's definitely taking two. Withdraw, that doesn't matter, that's physical defense, I'm using a special attack, this might Oko actually because of the small thing, okay, no, it, it, it just kind of put it in perfect range to die, thanks, oh, freaking, of course, okay, but it's fine, we, it's, it's gonna take three seconds because of rest. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm not triggered. It's it's whatever. It's it can be it can be no. It's... Half of his team is just dead now, thanks to the fact that he was dumb. 
Literally two things he just was dumb with. It's like, okay, cool. Demonetization Doggo, level 61. Kind of leafy on. Okay. I go into Quivarius here. Forest Curse. Now we are a grass, grass, steel, and flying type. Okay. It's still, you're still, Levion's gone. Lucario. Could be Mega. I'm staying in, though. I'm grass, flying, and steel right now. So fire is a threat. But jump kick. That's fine. That's whatever. Ah, I missed. Okay. You want to jump kick again? You should totally jump kick again. Ah, you knew it. Okay. Okay, you have nothing to hit. Oh, into straight into Reggie Rock. Okay. Magnitude 7. That's going to hit for a good damage. Maybe. No. See, Tarant's important. Tarant's important for the Lucario. Tarant's extremely important for the Lucario. Burn would be great if we can get a Scald Burn. Nope. Am I actually going to stay in and try and get a Scald Burn? Didn't get it. Also, notice he's going for Hammer Arms now because he knows... I just gotta go hope he gets risky a little bit. I'm gonna go into Tromp. If he plays this risky, he's dead. Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! What a way to end the Loma of the biggest pro mother freaking play! Yes! <laughs> yes! That's that's the way you end Alola. It's been hectic. It's been fun. It's been amazing. And we ended off on the biggest pro play. Yeah! Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for enjoying the song along as much as you are enjoying it. We are headed to the part of the final leg of this project. We are headed to the Switch, boys and girls and everyone else. So hopefully you guys end up figuring out who the heck you want to kill because you have three kills. And then in the next episode in Golar, you have a starter and a kill. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. And I hope you guys have a wonderful freaking day. Yo, that's hype.